Right here we have 50 single women. Right here we have 50 single guys. That's right, 100 love-starved people looking for a taste of romance on MTV Singled Out. And now your host, Chris Hardwick. Thank you, Tammy. You're welcome, Chris. I love you so much. Ooh. Welcome to Singled Out. Here's our recipe. We throw 50 guys and 50 girls into this big pot. We let two rise to the top. I'm just gonna dump the rest, you know? Let's get rid of them. Before we begin, let's go to Jenny McCarthy in the dating pool. Hey, everybody, as usual, we're gonna do this twice. First with the guys, then with the girls. Remember, one in 50 is gonna have a chance at love. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Everybody, Chris, bring out the babe. She's an 18-year-old college student who knows exactly where she's going in life. But once on a date, she accidentally walked into a fire hydrant. Ouch! Say hello to Katrina Abrahamian. You may now be blindfolded. All right, men, say hello to Katrina. Do you feel that? Yeah. Just say hi to him. Hi, guys. Oh, no, what a great voice. How you doing back there? Katrina, we're gonna nail down this group of 50 men to eight or less using age, body hair, height, kissing style, career goals, and of course, package. Yeah, Jenny, is my, everyone signed in and ready? My yeah, favorite. I know it's your favorite, Jen. Just <laughs> shut up, is everyone signed in on Yeah, there? we pushed and probed these guys until it hurt, just so we can get the right information from them and stuck it right on their chests, right here. Thank you, Did it hurt, Jenny. guys? Yeah. Uh-huh. All right, what uh, category do you wanna start with, Katrina? Chris, I'm gonna start off with age. Age. All right, we have underpants or underoos, and everyone fits into one of these categories. Who do you want to get rid of? Well, I want someone that's young and spunky, so I'm going to get rid of underpants. underpants. All right, if you're too old for underoos, you're too old for her. Let's go. Move it. Move it. Move it. Bye, guys. She likes young guys. I don't know what to say. Pride, an electric pride. Oh, what'd you do to your head? Oh, it's awfully, it's awfully bright. Katrina, where would you like to go next? I'm gonna go with kissing style. Kissing style? Yeah. All right, soft and sensitive or powerful and deep? Don't wanna choke, we're gonna get rid of powerful and deep. Powerful and deep. All right, you powerful monkeys, get out of here. No, you, wait, you seemed a bit despondent about this. Oh, it's terrible. Why could this happen to you? I don't, I can't understand. Give her a little kiss on the cheek. Maybe, maybe she missed something. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry later. about this. Bye, guys. Thanks for playing. Thanks for trying. Those are all sensitive kisses. Yeah. All right, where do you want to go next, Katrina? Um, I'm gonna go with career goals. Career goals. Yeah. Still avoiding this one, aren't you? <laughs> career goals. We have join the circus or buy the circus. I want a guy that's gonna take me out and treat me like a lady, so we're gonna boot join the circus. Join the circus. All right, you, you heard her, you poor little clowns. Get on your unicycles and ride out of here. Uh, you want to into one car. See ya. That is a chap right there, my friend. That is very nice. You want to touch that? You want to touch that? You don't like hairy things? We're not going to talk about it. Katrina, that's the end of round one. Congratulations. Thanks. Let's have a huge hand for my best friend in the world, piano boy John Ernst. Thank you. I love you in only a way that okay. men can platonically love each other. Jenny, who's playing in round two? All right, number one, say hello to Katrina. Hi, Katrina, baby. I like your style. He likes it. Hey, Katrina, you want me. I'm rad. <laughs> number three. What's up, Katrina? My name's Kyle. We'll have a good time together. I bet it's so. nice. All huh? right, number four. Hold on to your hats and glasses, because this here is the wildest ride in the wilderness. Shut the hell up. Is this a wrestling show? It's, it's, not, it's not fairy farm. What's up, Katrina? I'm Drew, and I'm down to uh, talk to you. He's so cute, too. We're gonna call on one of these guys at random. It's round two. They're okay. gonna stand up and you'll keep or dump them based on their answer. So, okay. who would you like to start with? Number two. Number two, Number two come here, stand babe. up. Rico. Go ahead, Katrina. Okay, I'm home. My roommate will be gone for the next two hours and I call you to ask you to come over. Let me hear how enthusiastic you are. Imitate the sound your car engine would make as you drive to my house. Vroom, 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 vroom. Vroom, 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 vroom. Vroom, vroom, Katrina. Vroom. Um, I'm gonna 
I'm gonna keep him. Go to the window, circle. Oh, Get back to the Charged female audience today, Katrina. All right, who's next? Um, Chris, I'm gonna go for number three. Number three, number three. stand up there. Get down here, man. All right, go ahead. Okay, I'm a complex girl. On one hand, I want a man who's open-minded. On the other hand, I want a man who always looks good. So put on this evening gown and give us your best supermodel runway strut. And you better work it, girl. <laughs> now hold that up. Stop. Those up for him. That's very pretty. Looks good. I keep it up. Looks good. Uh, what? Hey, you're asking the wrong person. Okay. Audience, what do you think? Okay, I'm gonna keep up. Got a little winner, sir. Get up there. It just it hugs right under the boob. You look great. <laughs> Honest. I mean it. All right, now we're gonna go to final cut. So everyone who uh, hasn't been picked, stand up. Katrina's gonna ask you all one question. She's gonna keep one of you. So go ahead. Okay, I'm an amateur handwriting analyst, and I can tell what kind of personality a guy has just by the way he signs his name. Each of you sign your name for me, and I'll pick the guy with the most intriguing autograph. All, All right, right hold on a second. Let me pass up the little pens. Go ahead, boys. Sign away. S write your name. This has become a big project. Can though. you let uh, the third guy in, please? That's lovely. All right, Katrina. What do you think? One, two, or three? I'm gonna go three. Number three! You go all the way in a circle. Three, up there. He's just a tad excited, Katrina. It's a little excitable. Jenny, what's coming up next? Hey, don't move. We'll be right back with our big winner. Stay tuned. Today's contestants on Singled Out took a break with McDonald's. Next time on MTV's Ultimate Winter Vacation, MTV Hawaii gets wet as they party in the Pacific. Hey, was that a sea turtle or are you just glad to see me? MTV's Singled Out is brought to you by Red Dog Beer. Bold yet smooth, unusually easy to drink. You are your own dog. Tonight feels kind of weird, but it's a good weird. I can feel it in my bones. This is not going to be your run-of-the-mill, laundry-doing, pizza-eating kind of night. I will not be exercising tonight, or philosophizing, or organizing. What I am going to do is look for women who look like trouble, and I'm going to flirt with them heavily. Because tonight, I'm not just drinking beer. I'm gulping life. I'm going to eat the night alive. What are you going to do? Also nice. Step outside. Move over, plain old diaper wipes. Make room for something really new. New quilted Baby Fresh wipes. They're better than ever. Because now Baby Fresh is not just thick, it's quilted. Quilted to be extra thick and most important, soft and incredibly gentle. New quilted Baby Fresh. As gentle with your baby as you are. And when it's time to potty train, look for Kid Fresh, the do-it-myself flushable wipes. Line four, doctor. Many patients call about home pregnancy tests. Ask about first response. Most doctors would recommend it. It's accurate and easy. Hold it in your urine stream. Pink, pregnant, white, not pregnant. Most doctors would recommend first response. The temperature inside your mouth is 98.6 degrees. The same as a sweltering jungle. Ugh. But the temperature inside a winter fresh mouth tastes. <laughs> winter fresh gum from Wrigley's. <laughs> that lasts, uh -huh. and lasts, yeah. and lasts. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Try winter fresh gum for icy cool breath that lasts. What's it gonna take to undo this much damage? About three minutes. Pantene introduces Pro-V deep fortifying treatment. Deep conditioning used to take me at least 20 minutes. Pantene works in just three. The exclusive pro-vitamin formula fortifies by penetrating your hair root to tip, restoring health, renewing shine, and reinforcing the natural strength of your hair. It's deep conditioning without the weight. New Pro-V Deep Fortifying Treatment. 
for hair so healthy it shines. Why wait? Once, Martha Quinn only wanted two things, the job in rock and roll and clear skin. Now I know if you want clearer skin, you gotta get clear pores. You gotta get Neutrogena Clear Pore Treatment. It's not a cleanser, it's a treatment you wear overnight. So it penetrates all the way into your pores and helps clear out oil and other pore cloggers. Over time, you wake up to less blackheads and blemishes. Clear Pore Treatment even keeps breakouts from coming back. You gotta get Neutrogena Clear Pore Treatment. Yes! to sing aloud. It's our little show. And it's time for round three, the final race. Jenny, who do we have playing? Oh my God, he's not off the wall. He's off the freaking wall. Let's hear it for Big Red. Oh my God. Whoa. This guy knows how to strut his stuff. Let's hear it for Claude Schiffer. And he knows how to rev her up. Say hello to Motor Mouth. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Jenny. That hair's not real. The eyebrows tell where the real hair is. All right, now before the show, Katrina committed a series of answers to these cards that her ideal man would give. Every time your answer matches hers, you move a step forward, and whoever gets into this circle first gets to go out with her. Are you ready, man? They're ready. Let's begin. Bad hair day. Oh, this is a good one for you. Bad hair day. Who cares or wear a hat? Who cares? Um, Whoa, calm down there, little camper. You go first. <laughs> Who cares? Wear a hat. Who cares? What'd you say, Katrina? Who cares? Who cares? R&B, rhythm and blues are rotten and bad. Um, rhythm and blues. Rhythm and blues. Rockin' and bad. What do you think, Katrina? Rotten, rotten and, bad. and bad. Yeah. Oh, Katrina. Okay, the winner, food baby. hits the floor. Toss it or dust it off? Um, toss it, dust it off. Toss it. Okay. Toss it. Toss it. What do you think, babe? I would toss it. She says toss it. Yeah. This is going to be a match made in heaven. Better first move. Hold her hand or kiss her cheek. Hold her hand. Kiss her cheek. Kiss her cheek. What'd you say, Katrina? Hold her, said, hand. Hold her hand. Oh. What happened to you on that one? Harder to do in the nude. Rock climbing or bungee jumping? Bungee jumping. Rock climbing. Rock climbing. What'd you say, baby? Rock, 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 rock climbing. climbing. One more. The end is near! Repent or party? Party. Party. Party! Party! Oh party. My God. This is the best ever! What do you think? All right, Katrina, stand that way. Put your back to her. He's not too old. He's a soft kisser. And, well, geez, I don't even know what else to say. Jenny, here, let him meet. Congratulations. Sammy, where are they going? Oh, they're going on a horn blower dining yacht cruise. They'll get on a big boat, eat a big meal, sail around the big ocean, and we'll even pick up the big tab. As long as you don't make a big mess, Big Red. Isn't that big of us? Now go ahead, eat that. I just have a slight suspicion Katrina's gonna be taking that optional chaperone. There's the happy couple. There they are. Hey, I've been dying to ask you, is that your natural color? Well, actually, I... Not you, you! Yeah. Jenny, 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 what? enough with them! What about these 50 oh, single we got, women? Oh, got! Chris, I can't hold them in much longer, so you better bring out that man! Oh, yeah, come here! He's a 19-year-old from Los Angeles who, can you believe, plays in a band. He also believes in women's rights, which means that if a girl asks him out, she pays. Ladies, meet Travis Close. Travis, 
Thanks for being on the show, Travis. Thanks for having me. Trying to be upright, trying to be diplomatic. Ladies, say hello to Travis. Hi, Travis! Hi, ladies. Yes. We're gonna narrow them down, Travis. All 50 of them to eight or less using legs, hair length, stomach, makeup, sleepwear, and commitment. Where do you want to start? Well, Chris, seeing as how it's about time to get cracking on the proverbial pinata, let's go to commitment. <laughs> All right, commitment. We have short-term lease or long-term leash. Who do you want to get rid of? This sounds egotistical, but I don't want a girl to get upset when I lose interest. So let's oh, give it a long-term leash. long-term leash. Ooh, he doesn't want to be your little doggy. One of the writers must have been in a bad relationship to write that category. Oh my gosh, oh, that's, so that's sweet. a lot of dogs. I mean, pooches. <laughs> They're just coming from all sides, Travis. Bye, girls. I'm sorry. Wow. Hot. Be real. Goodbye. One, two more. Oh, just one more. I'm sorry. Ooh. Ooh. That's rough. Yeah. Brutal. Yeah. All right, Travis, where do you want to go next? Well, Chris. Next, I want to check out legs. All right, let's check out legs. We have Cindy Crawford or Cindy Brady. That's this is a hard one. I, I, this is a real hard one. Right, let's give her a Cindy Brady. Cindy Brady. Oh, baby talk, baby talk. It's a wonder you can walk. All right, she Cindy so Brady, hot. you got to move it. Heard stories about Cindy's. her and Bobby in the doghouse. I don't know if they're true. Hey, Brady's. Go ahead. I think, I think go. Bye. Well, I guess that's the end of round one. Congratulations, Travis. Jenny, what's happening? Well, when we come back, we'll see which of these girls gets to do the ceremonial boogie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> On the next real world. I think the honeymoon's over in the house. Shut up. When it comes to doing something in this house, everybody's like a kid. No legend, no legend, no. The dog still hasn't understood where to do it. What is with you, dog? He's decided to use my room as his morning toilet. I am so completely sick of living here right now. MTV Singled Out is brought to you by Molson Ice from Canada. The land where ice was born. I got a plan for tonight. And the plan is to have no plan at all. Maybe I'll send my left brain on vacation for a while. Maybe I'll let my soul be the boss. Maybe I'll stay out a little late. Maybe I'll stay out a lot late. Maybe I'll go to a party uninvited and dance with every woman in the place without touching the floor once. Maybe I'll go to a city that never sleeps. And maybe I'll put it to bed. What are you going to do? Olsen Ice, step outside. It's hard to keep a guy ah! like Mike Donnelly down. Oh my God! But he's trying. I think it's better if we bring the energy down a tad. Ah! From the director of Wayne's World. The nitrous oxide's leaking into the car. <laughs> Chris Farley, David Spade. What's that black thing? Whoa! <laughs> what are you doing? Black Sheep. Die! Oh! Right in PG-13. Starts Friday, February 2nd at theaters everywhere. Today, treat your breath to a whole new cool. New certs, cool mint drops. Cool new box, cool mint drops. With a breath cooling retin center. Treat your breath to new cool mint drops. New from certs. So does conditioning every day leave your hair heavy and weighed down? Not anymore, because Pantene's got new Pro-V Light Spray Conditioner. The Pro-Vitamin formula is so light, you spray it on and leave it on. For hair so healthy, it shines. Finally. Uh, 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 uh. Hello, I am Aru Bay. Please come. Join us at Sophia's Cafe, 3522 South National. We've weathered some of the worst storms, survived some of the most brutal punishment, dealt by the elements and the economy. We've helped millions of families throughout the heartland of America do the same. And together, we've come through stronger. 
where home, car, and life insurance will always be there for you. Shelter Insurance. See Todd Johnson or Paul Hicks. Hi, I'm Linda Carter, and I'm here to tell you why ordering your contact lenses direct from Lens Express is such a great idea. We're America's largest contact lens replacement service. Call now for a free catalog and save up to 50% by ordering direct from Lens Express. And I get the exact lenses my doctor prescribed or my money back. Now that's what I call service. I couldn't do without Lens Express. Call this number now for a free Lens Express catalog. Welcome back to Single Out. It's round two. Travis, this is our keep them or dump them round. So we're going to meet the women. Jenny, would you introduce them to us, please? Number one, say hello to Travis. Hi, Travis. My name's Andre, and I can't wait to meet you, baby. Number two. Hi, Travis. I'm Serena, and I could be naughty or I could be nice. Number three. Hi, Travis. I'm Joy, and I want to take you on a joy ride. Oh. Number three. Hey, Travis, this is Jess. I'm... I'm the girl for you. <laughs> Number five. Sounds like it. Hi, Travis. I'm Cindy. Pick me, pick me, pick me. Number six. Hi, Travis. This is Robin, and when I'm done with you, you'll be glowing. Number seven. Hey, Travis. I'm Leslie. You can bring me home to mom and back to your room. And number eight. Hi, Travis. This is Robin, and I want to fly you home. All right, Travis. You and her and mom would be awesome. Now, Travis, you're going to call on one of these girls at random. They're going to stand up, and you'll keep them or dump them based on their answer. So who would you like to start with? Girl number two. Number two. two. Come on, stand up. I just love a girl who can tell the future. So put on this turban, look into your crystal ball, and tell me what's going to happen on our first date. All right. What's going to happen on our first date? We're going to be in a limo. It's going to be, we're going to have champagne. We're going to get a little buzz, and we're going to have a little fun. It's Are all in there. Into the ball. there. In the ball? Yeah, that's yeah. bad. That's fine. That's Travis, right. you're going to keep her a dumper. Drop her. Oh, oh he dumped you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That'll be all. Thank you. Zero. Should have been zero. All right, who do you want to go to next? Let's go to uh, girl number four for 200. One, two, three, four for 200. Stand up. Okay, Travis. I'm a big fan of those call-in radio shows. Call my favorite one, Tammy the Love Doctor, and tell her problem is sometimes you think I'm just too much of a man for you. Tammy? Yes, hi, it's Dr. Tammy, and I have a PhD in love, so how can I help you? Tammy, this guy is just way too much for me. What do I do? Mm, how's that a problem? Well, he's just kind of hard to handle. I'm not too sure what I'm supposed to do. Well, help if me. He, if he's too much man, why don't you just cut off an arm or a leg or something? Oh, that's kind of dirty. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean it that way. Listen, I'd love to chat more, but I've got a load of laundry in the dryer. Gotta go, bye-bye. A load of what, Tammy? <laughs> All right, you want to keep her up for Travis? I guess I got to keep her. Go to the winner, so it goes. Congratulations. All right, Travis, who's next? Well, let's go to number seven next. What are the professor seven? Stand up. Yeah, seven. Whoa. She's got a fan club. Jeez. All right, Travis, go ahead. Okay, number seven. I'm in the mood for a little pampering. Indulge me. Stick your fan around the mirror and fan me while you praise my beauty. I can't help wanting to touch your soft, <laughs> gentle butt. <laughs> I just want to reach out and bite you. Oh hmm. my Touching God. butts, biting things, you want to keep her a dumper. Well, to be honest, I'm a, I'm a little bit frightened. Let's get rid of her. Oh, he's going to dump you. Oh, I'm no. so sorry. Don't worry, she can bite you guys later if you're so angry. These kids, Travis, what's wrong with them? Kids Where do you want to go next? So, um, I'd say number three. Number three, three stand up. All right, go ahead. Presidential campaigns aside, I used to love to play with walkie-talkies. Take this walkie-talkie and convince me to come over to your house to play. Travis, I really need you to come over here. I need some help, like laundry out and you really are so strong and I really need your help please come over is that all true I promise <laughs> ooh like is this mechanical keep her <laughs> dumper keep her oh go to the winner's circle <laughs> <laughs> a lot of blonde in the air my friend 
Kravis. Okay. We're going to go to our final cut question. Everyone who has not been picked, stand up. Travis is going to ask you one question, and then he'll keep one of you. So go ahead. Wow, this is a rough one. I grew up on a farm and loved seeing those animals having babies. Bring me back to those times by one at a time, imitating how a cow, a sheep, a chicken, a pig, a duck, and a horse sound when they give birth. All right, here it goes. Number one, you are a cow. Moo! Moo! Very good. Number two, you're a sheep. Bah. Bah. <laughs> and number three, you're a chicken. And number four, you're a pig. Oink, oink. I'm sure she was thrilled to get the big question. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a farm theme, in keeping with my Amish sort of vest. Plow the fields, Jebediah. Travis, who would you like to keep? Ooh, uh, let's keep. Three? <laughs> Three! The chicken! Three. You got it! The chicken lady! Congratulations, Etsy and the Brown, too, Travis. Boy, we really have a lot of pride on this show. And now let's meet the finalist, Jenny. Guys, you remember her? She's the sexiest lady on the farm. Yes, yeah, chicken lady! Jenny McCarthy doing Mark McKinney. How surreal. And she had so much fun with her walkie-talkie. Say hello to the playmate. And Tammy, good old Dr. Tammy, gave her some sound advice. Say hello to radio acting. Thank you. Chicken lady! All right. Once just wasn't enough. You know, I wouldn't expect this to rival the potential of excitement from the last round three, but it's this round three. And before the show, Travis committed a series of answers to these cards his ideal woman would give. Every time your answer matches his, you move forward. And whoever gets here first gets to go out with him. Are you ready, ladies? They're ready. Then let us begin. More important, your health or your wealth? Health. 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 Travis, baby, what'd you say? I said, your health. He said the health. <laughs> Oh, this is a this is a ripe one. Better French term: déjà vu or menage à trois. Déjà vu, déjà vu, menage à trois. What do you think, baby? He déjà said vu, déjà, déjà vu. vu. I knew he was gonna. Stupid. Have you ever seen a UFO? Yes, siri, or no such thing? Yes, siri, no such thing. Yes, siri. All right, Travis. What did you think? It's no such thing, baby. No such thing. <laughs> Yes, there are, and the government's got them locked up. Chicken lady's losing. <laughs> One more time, I'm sending him back to the coop, McCarthy. Looks better in dreads, Lenny or Ziggy? Lenny. Ziggy. Lenny. What are you saying? <laughs> Lenny. Whoa. You are just going to melt this one. All right, postal workers, nice mailmen or disgruntled maniacs? Disgruntled maniacs. Nice men. Disgruntled maniac. What do you think? Is that maniacs. Maniacs. Of course they are. Chicken lady steps forward. Unisex bathrooms. Beware or I'm there. Beware. I'm there. Beware. Yeah, Travis. Yeah. I'm there. I'm, I'm there. there. Can't you do another kid? Do you have to do him only? Size or technique? What? Technique. Size, technique? Size. Okay. Technique. All right, the winning answer could be... Technique! technique. Is that what you said? We finally have a winner! Come up here, congratulations! Okay, Travis, she doesn't want a commitment. She has long legs, and she got advice from our very own Tammy, whom I love, Jenny. Meet your babe! Congratulations! Tamara, where are they going? They are gonna jump out of a plane with someone they barely know. Strapped to them, because they're going skydiving. It's all courtesy of Paris Valley Skydive. Then, you'll have dinner at the Bomb Shelter Restaurant. Or, if you want, you can eat dinner first and then throw up on people as you're falling through the air. Whatever, have fun, guys. Well, that's another episode of Single Out Come To An End. Is Chicken Lady all you can do? Surprise there, Curtis! MC yeah. Simon Milligan, the Eradicator? Yeah! Oh, goodbye! Promotional consideration provided by Revlon Charlie White, JBL Pro 3 speakers, Kennington, Earth Angels, Fossil watches available at better department stores everywhere, Airwalk footwear, keyboard instruments provided by Kurzweil Music Systems. Get another dose of electrically charged hormones tomorrow night at 7 o'clock on a brand new episode of Singled Out. And speaking of hormones, this Sunday is the granddaddy of them all, Butt Bowl 3, a brand new episode of Beavis and Butthead during halftime. Up next, the boys pull their fingers and have a late night snack. Stick around, Beavis and Butthead is on the way. Beavis and